Hi, uh, I'm Rasa Abinur, uh, Professor of Cancer Research at Indiana University School of Medicine. I'm glad to be here with you. So we uh, presented real-world data on the efficacy of IDICEL uh, and the side effect profile uh, of a uh, large number of patients. And uh, what we were able to show that there is really limited uh, toxicity outside cytokine release syndrome and uh, uh, immediate neurotoxicity. There was no uh, symptoms of Parkinson's disease, and to date, uh, there hasn't been report of significant uh, second primary malignancy. So uh, it does uh, prove that uh, this um, uh, CAR T cells is efficacious, uh, especially in uh, elderly patients. Question is that does a, a clinical trial data uh, inform you about how to manage your patients that you see in the clinic every day? We have shown earlier that uh, clinical trial patients are really not the patient we see in the clinic. So uh, for that reason, I think we developed uh, over the years uh, what we call real-world data, which is really the patient that you see in your clinic every day, not the patient that has significant, uh, uh, you know, sort of meeting the criteria for a clinical trial where they have to have a perfect uh, a performance status or a perfect liver function and things like that. So uh, real-world data will tell you about how your treatment really uh, affect the uh, outcome of these patients and the side effect that may not be seen in a clinical trial. So really the interest now is let's collect it on every patient we treat and let's put it in a database that will help us understand how uh, our patients are performing, you know, and that will inform us better and will allow us to inform the patients about the potential benefit and the potential side effect from a large cohort of patients that are not available in the, from the clinical trial. So everybody is doing uh, analysis based on the every patient we see in the clinic every day, the real patient. So that's why we call it uh, real-world data.